All right, all you one peoples. So look, uh, I'm gonna quickly go over video analysis and maybe what it would look like and how you would put it up again. Um, because I think we should show it. Why not? That's what we do here. So whether you, uh, you're a history econ or government, it's going to look the same in your notes. Yellow is always a lecture one. Uh, this blue and black background is always video analysis for any class that you come into U1. Um, so it means anytime we do a, we watch a video, we watch a clip, something like that on YouTube or whatever it is, we're going to do a video analysis about it here. So the video title, I will usually give it to you. However, it's something when like this, the video title would be America Before Columbus. Uh, so that would go in our video title and how you would do it is you would just double click there and you would start writing and it'll go in there. Um, so I'll just go back so I can reset it for us. Excellent. Here, this yellow box, if you click on it, it says quick summary of video. So uh, you could just overwrite it. That's fine. Um, you're just going to write two to three sentences just summarizing the video what you saw from that. However, what it does is it comes from information that you take while you're watching the video because videos are not just these boring things that we just sit and stare off into space. They're actually something that we learn from and we extract information from to help us understand. Uh, and how you would make a text box, you can use the shorthand. You can just go to the text box tool here, click text box. And now your cursor becomes a crosshair, and what you do is you hold down your left click and draw it as big as you would like to. There you go. Uh, when it is on black background like this, you need to click inside the box, the cursor, and go up to your text color, which is right next to the bold italic underline, and click there and change it to anything but that. So that way when you type, um, it actually shows up in that one. I am okay with you using size 14 font. I would prefer you to use 10 through 12. However, I'm not going to grade you down. Um, just know, though, if you use a bigger font, I expect a little more concise thinking. Where if you use a smaller font, um, I give you a little more wiggle room in that one. Um, some people have been having a problem when they make text boxes, like it's not working, something like that, or they're having issues. Here's my recommendation in Google. What I would always do, if you're having a tough time with this text box, I would just click on it and delete it. And then I would go back and redraw it and make a new one. That's usually the good rule of thumb in this one. Now, obviously, you'll have to reformat, so you'll have to redo your text color, everything like that. But whenever you have a problem, it's just the easiest way to do it like that. So in this side here is the points that you get from the specific video that we're watching. Um, so you could do bullet points, whatever you need to. Um, the point is, is while you're watching the video, you should be taking some bit of notes on it. It doesn't have to be everything. I don't expect you to be typing the whole entire time of the video. That would be crazy, and that would just not be in line with what the visual learning process is, is all about. However, it's fair to say that if we were watching this whole entire thing at the end of an hour, 32 minutes, I highly doubt you're going to be able to take correct notes in terms of understanding what you wanted to. So you should probably do it why it's happening. Um, it's a unique order task to do, but it's something you have to do. So, for every time I say video analysis, it is going to be this one here. And again, how you would make another slide, because I only gave you the actual template, is you would go right-click, duplicate slide there, and then you can drag it all around if you need to put it wherever you need to. Um, so that's the beauty of this, working with slides. But that is video analysis. Any questions, as always, send me a message, remind, DM me, whatever you need. I am here for you.